Hi everybody, I'm Mary Burley, Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum, and I'm here today with my friend Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Deputy Director and Chief Curator. We're so happy to see you. And we start this week uh, with a new theme, which is strong girls and women in Rockwell's images. And he, he painted many strong girls and women, and we're very excited to talk with you about uh, what we notice in these images. So today's image is wet paint. Rockwell painted this image in 1930, and it's full of details that tell a larger story. We'd like you to notice those details and make sense of the story with us. Every one of Rockwell's images tell a story. So we see a young lady who is leaning forward. Uh, she's running so quickly that her feet barely touch the ground. And we're wondering where is she going and why is she in such a hurry? Notice she's carrying a canvas, a paint box, a wet palette of paint. She has a foldable easel and lots of brushes. Her paint box is closed, uh, we think, maybe fairly hastily because um, there's rags sticking out of it. Um, if you look at the sky around her, it's, it's a bit dark. And the landscape that she's carrying, maybe she painted that today and she spent the afternoon with it. And uh, now she's hurrying home in the dark. We're not sure, but she could be trying to outrun a storm. So all of these details start to tell a bigger picture. And uh, Stephanie, want to share with us what, what you notice and what you think that bigger picture might be? Absolutely. So, you know, what could be the big idea here? Uh, I'd love to hear what all you think, but um, one thing I can see is that this girl just absolutely loves painting. She's fully involved with doing her work and um, she's making a choice to spend time doing something that she really loves to do. Uh, what's kind of fun here is that this is a subject that Norman Rockwell really would have been familiar with because as a young man, he attended art school at the Art Students League in New York City. And there he studied painting, drawing, and illustration, and he worked at it all the time. So art was really his true passion, and this was a passion and a love that lasted throughout his whole life. And in fact, he kept trying and trying to perfect his skills and he kept going with that for about 70 years. And of course, he got better and better and better. The other thing that's kind of interesting here is that even though this girl has been painting outdoors, and we know that because we can see what she has painted, she painted a beautiful landscape scene, Norman Rockwell did not like painting outdoors very much, and he didn't do it very often. He usually painted inside his studio from sketches or photographs of his models. And the only time he really painted outdoors was when he was traveling. So he might travel for pleasure or for business. One thing that he did while he traveled is he always carried a paint box, just like the one that you see in this picture. So he might have even used his own paint box as a model for this picture. But inside his paint box, he would have paints and charcoal and rags and pencils and all kinds of other art supplies that were really important and that allowed him to work no matter where he was. So those are just some fun things to think about when you look at this. And um, we have some thoughts about the things that, that you can do. Uh, so Mary, would you like to share what that might be? I would, and I have one question for you, Stephanie, before yeah. I share that. And that is, um, do you think that, you know, we know that Rockwell loved to paint. He painted 13 hours a day or more, often seven days a week. In a way, uh, do you think that this painting, even though it's a young woman, do you think it might be self-referential in terms of his passion? I definitely do. Um, Rockwell created a lot of pictures about artists and painting, and that was a subject that he absolutely knew very, very well. So I absolutely think that uh, he probably remembered himself as a very young artist who was putting everything he had into doing his work. So that's a great question. That's so interesting. Well, I think what we would like you to do, uh, having looked at this 
this image and thinking and having thought about the big story behind it is to think about what, when do you feel fully engaged and alive? What are you doing? Who are you with? And how can thinking about that help you decide what you're going to do tomorrow and the next day and maybe for the rest of your life? So we hope you have a great day and we're so glad that you joined us. Bye-bye.